At the end of July, I attended a digital preview event for the next entry in the long-running E-Series East 10 Nordics, hosted by NIS America. Adventurer Adol Kristen is back again, and this time his exploits play out on the high seas aboard a ship called the Sandras. The demo, which appeared to be running on a PS5, took place in Chapter 4, which is early on in Adol's 40-60 to 60 hour journey, and we were given a sense of what naval and land combat look like, in addition to some of the systems and mechanics Nordics has to offer. Compared to the large island space of Ease 8 and the urban areas of Ease 9, Ease 10 involves island hopping and filling out sea maps as you build up the crew of your ship. As in those earlier games, the friends you meet along the way will move onto your ship and offer side quests and services to help you on your adventure. I was happy to see the idea of a home base show up again, as that was my favorite aspect of Lacrimosa of Dana. You can also customize your ship, such as bolstering your cannons to make short work of enemy ships and shield towers. During the demo, we saw a recapture battle, where an Adol and his crew sought to take back an island from undead enemies known as Grieger. The second part of the battle saw Adol and his partner Karja take to land to make their way through a brief three-floor dungeon that culminated in a mini-boss fight. The dungeon segment showed off the action combat the E series is famous for, with quick swapping between Adol and Karja and their distinct weapons being one of the key mechanics for successful fights. The pair can link up for more devastating special attacks too, and it looks like you'll want to be busting these out to whittle down bosses' larger health meters. There's a fair bit of visual flair to the linked up moves of Adol and Karja, and I'm eager to see more of the combat and how it evolves over the course of the story. We weren't given a ton of context about the overall story of the game, but I did ask about the choice to include only two playable characters, which is noticeably slight compared to the six each in Ease 8 and 9. I was told that, from a narrative standpoint, there's more you can do depth-wise with a two-member party, which does make sense. Mechanically, it's also possible to flesh out the skills of Adol and Karja more, given that they are the development focus. It remains to be seen if a series that generally leans into a more expanded cast will succeed with this slightly new trajectory. As August begins, we're but a few months away from the October 25th release date for East 10 Nordics on Switch. Questions remain about the game's performance on Nintendo's aging platform after the numerous issues that plagued Ease 9 Monstrum Nox, but I'm optimistic that having even more experience developing for the system will yield positive results. Be you landlubber or pirate, if you're in the mood for more Ease action, you don't have much longer to wait. This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Did you know that Nintendo World Report is funded directly by fans like you? When you support Nintendo World Report on Patreon, you get immediate access to multiple exclusive podcasts every month, exclusive Discord channels, an early look at select content, and more. All for as little as a dollar a month. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details.